You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Before we move forward, um, I do want to say uh, one quick thing. Um, my camera is about to die, and the only other camera that I have right now is my GoPro. So when this dies, um, okay. So while I was trying to apologize for my camera about to die, it died. But um, this this is an Envy shirt. I just got these from them. If you want one, you can get one at Scooter Zone. Okay, but let's move on with today's video and why you guys came here. So a lot of you guys probably know that I have a signature deck through Envy and the color of it is like that kind of blue and gold flaky kind of mirror-ish looking color. When we make a signature deck, one of the steps that we have to take is to get the color uh, the right way. We have to get it in the right form. And when Envy actually sends you the color sample, they're not gonna send it to you on like, um, like something small. Like they wouldn't send it to me on like something that was just this because they want it to give the right effect and show you like what it's gonna look when it comes to uh, different uh, angles on an actual scooter deck. During that process, this just past time, they hadn't actually finished the Prodigy S8 scooter, like they hadn't finished the deck yet, so they sent me my color sample on an Envy Prodigy S8 deck. So, it's, it's kind of, you could say it's like my signature Prodigy S8. Because if I had a Prodigy S8 signature scooter, like a complete scooter, I would want it to be just like the Blue Bandit, which is just blue everything. Because I think it looks really cool. I gotta get through my plethora of scooter parts here. No. Yeah. V5s. Lots of V5s. Here's a prototype V5. Um. Aha. Boom. So let's get in the actual sunlight so you can see the proper way. There it is. So you can very clearly see like that kind of flaky look and obviously there's no, there goes my neighbor. You can see like the kind of flakiness that kind of pops up like that. But the head tube on this one looks nuts because you can really see the gold because there's a lot of different angles on an S8 than there are on a V5. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just different. But I figured why not put this deck on my scooter and ride it since it's never actually been ridden. I didn't make a video about this when I got this deck because like I said, the deck hadn't been out yet. So they didn't want me to actually make a video about it yet because I probably would have gotten in trouble. But now the deck's been out for a long time. The scooter's been out. If you guys want a new scooter, check out a Prodigy. They're really popular. People like them. I, I have one too. But let's put this on my scooter. I just broke my headset. Ugh. The whole thing just like exploded. And I saw all kind of, like a bunch of the balls. See, look, a bunch of the balls came off of the headset. So this thing is, look, it, there goes another one. So this thing's toast. Now I have to go find a headset. And I don't think I have one. Now, um, I know what you're thinking. Like, what do you mean you don't have a headset? Well, um, I go through headsets like a decent amount. I don't break them all the time, but I like when they spin fast and spin like somewhat smooth. So I get like, I have a lot of the actual pieces to a headset, headset caps. I got a lot of spacers. I got a lot of like bearings, but not headset bearings, wheel bearings. And I have all kinds of like IHC things, like different shims and forks. Like I have a lot of stuff, but headsets are one thing that I always struggle with. Wheels, lots of wheels. But I give away a lot of that stuff too. <sighs> like even these decks don't don't have headsets. I took them out. Look, it's an old NVSCS. Lambo wheels. Look at 
No headset. There's one in there, but the, I'm gonna break that getting it out. I already know it. Do I really not have like a suit? Yo, let's go. Literally found a single. I'll take it any day. This is, where the heck is this from? I think this is from my mini scoop. I don't know, but I got one. By the way, sorry for only having a GoPro to film with today. I uh, I grabbed my camera and all the batteries to, to prepare for this video and just filming for the following day, but I worked pretty much like a solid 36 hour shift yesterday, so I was pretty tired when I got home, so I didn't charge the battery, I forgot, and here we are with a GoPro that now has 7% battery left, so we're not looking that good. Headset acquired, let's put it on there and get this thing finished. Okay, everything is off of my signature deck, uh, my AOSV5, which is another thing. If you guys want to check out my AOSV5 deck, you can get them at www.remanwarner.com or thescooterzone.com. I've been riding this deck for a long, long time. Love this thing. Uh, you should check one out. But that's not what we're riding right now. I don't know if I have grip tape. I was just thinking about that. A lot of the grip tape that I did have um, is completely gone uh, just from giving it to my friends and things like that because I used to have a lot of it. And all the other grid tape that I technically, I guess, own is at Scooter Zone. But uh, I do have my 30 mil spacers. Here's a little hack for you too. Uh, I don't actually run the like uh, the little rubber garments that go around the spacers on an AOS V5 deck, which is the same extrusion as a Prodigy, pretty much. Um, so if you guys uh, don't really like that, like little rubber uh, or grommet, not garment, grommet. Um, if you don't like that little rubber grommet, you don't necessarily have to run it. Uh, if it's rubbing on your wheel, you can just take it out, which for my 30s, it kept on rubbing. So I just removed it and we're good to go. So I got to get this brake on first. Then we can put the wheels on, slide the bars into the SES. And I think we're good after that. I think that's pretty much it. 3% left on my GoPro. So we got to hurry this up. Well, the GoPro died, but I had my camera charging, so uh, we're back. Just about finished putting the 30 mil on right now. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put the bars in, and uh, I'm probably just gonna do like a couple quick tricks because I don't have that much time this morning, so this video might be a little bit short. Maybe just like a couple double whips and things like that just to see like uh, how it's feeling when it comes to like the weight distribution. But I do wanna take this thing over to the skate park throughout the weekend and test it out over there. Let's go. I must say, I'm pretty sure that's like the best sounding prodigy that we that's probably out there. If you think yours sounds better, let me know in the comments below, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She sounds freaking nasty. All right, like I said, I wanna do a couple tricks on this thing really quick. Nothing too crazy, I don't have any ramps here unless I emptied up my entire pool, which I'm not doing today, but I might do that one of these days. Um, but for now, no, I don't have that much time. I gotta go to work. Well, let's just get like a couple fly tricks really quick. Uh, maybe like a couple double whips, maybe like a double heel. This is a little bit shorter than my deck is. Uh, I believe these are 20 inches long and 4.75 inches wide. So like a quarter of an inch smaller. So not that much of a difference, but I don't know what the head tube angle is on these. 82.5 or 83, one of the two. That's addicting. This headset's way better than mine. We're not having grip tape. I don't know how I caught that. Ooh. I almost fell in the pool. Yeah, grip tape thing is, is no bueno. First thing that needs to be put on this thing before I go to the skate park is freaking grip tape because right now I can barely like double whip. When I do 180 whips, my feet just pretty much instantly fly off. But all in all, this thing is freaking cool. I like the way it looks a lot. I'm definitely, I love the, the blue on blue thing I've been doing lately. What do you guys think about it? Let me know. A lot of people have been saying that they uh, have been liking my scooter lately uh, with the AOS V5 on there and my bars are taller, but still like to hear from you guys on YouTube. Quick little recap on the scoot. We have the TPR grips as well as the Reaper V2 bar on right now. Uh, so these are actually uh, just an older bar that they redid and put new colors on it. Liking these so far. 
I'm riding the Omen SCS as well as, of course, the Prodigy S8 deck at the moment. We got the SCS Declare Forks with the 30 mil wide tri bearing wheels and a nylon brake with NV 8 back 9 bearings. Things are riding so, so well right now. Excited to take this thing over to the skate park, give it a shot over there. I do have to fix that top bearing now because the two bearings, they work um, for the headset, but that bottom one is a lot smoother than my top one. Not that that really makes a difference, but it would feel better if the top one was smooth too. But as of right now, I'm gonna tune up for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that we had to cut this video a little bit short. I got some stuff to do, but I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. And until next time, I was gonna do it like this, but I got a white shirt on. Oh, I don't have that many. I don't have that much dirt. Later. <laughs>